Hi, my name is Jack Dorsey, and I'm one of the co-founders of Twitter, and this is Twitter Support. At Baby Seoks. My English teacher just told me the Twitter bird's name is Larry. Well, our co-founder Biz is from Boston, and when we decided that the bird was going to be our logo, he naturally went to uh, the most famous bird for him, maybe the most famous bird in the world, Larry Bird. I will say, though, if you follow bird watching on Twitter, no tweets about Larry Bird. At Maddie Kratos, why does Twitter have a character limit still? I'm tired of sacrificing my grammar for the good of the tweet. Unhappy face. So some history on the character limit. We originally started with 140 characters so that we could fit in one text message, which is what the whole service was based on in the early days. But we also believe that the constraint was really useful because it inspired a lot of creativity. And this resonated with comedians, it resonated with journalists, it resonated with poets and hip hop artists and creatives of all type. They figure out ways not to sacrifice their grammar, but to actually make it work. But we thought it might be good to increase the limit just a little bit, and we decided to do it twice the amount, which seems enough for most people. And if that's not enough, we have threads. You can link all the tweets together. So we have a 280 character limit, but you can link as many tweets as you want, so it's really limitless. At my wife is Joni asks, how can I identify a Twitter bot? I have suspicions over one or two I see, but cannot prove it at Twitter support. Well, I'm from Missouri, which is a show me state. We're all skeptics, and I would always recommend that we be skeptical of everything that we see. If you have suspicions, go through our reporting flow, but you don't necessarily have to assume that everyone is a bot. Some people just haven't updated their profile picture, and some folks haven't chosen their own ad name. So if you see something that is suspicious, we have a reporting flow. You can send it over to us, and we'll look for it. Always be skeptical. At Peter Alstone asks, when will Twitter, Facebook, and Google be regulated like the public utilities they are? The information economy moves fast, maybe soon. We believe, fundamentally, that the job of a regulator is to protect the individual and level the playing field for everyone. And our job is to help educate regulators around smart paths forward. So we're always having conversations around the world with regulators about what technology makes possible and how Twitter fits into that. We welcome smart regulation uh, and we want to help guide it as well. At Tazy Doris asks, IO Twitter, can we get that edit button in 2020? The answer is no. The reason there's no edit button, there hasn't been an edit button traditionally, is we started as a SMS text messaging service. So as you all know, when you send a text, you can't really take it back. We wanted to preserve that vibe and that feeling uh, in the early days. But now, you know, we have an app and a lot of people are using us on the web. And there's some issues with edit that we can, we can solve. Um, one is you might send a tweet and then someone might retweet that and then an hour later you completely change the content of that tweet and that person that retweeted the original tweet is now retweeting and rebroadcasting something completely different. So that's something to watch out for. A lot of people want it because they want to fix a quick spelling error or a broken link or whatnot. And that's great. We've considered a one minute window or a 30 second window to correct something. But that also means that we have to delay sending that tweet out. Because once it's out, people see it. So these are all the considerations. It's just work, but we'll probably never do it. OK, at Southern Keeks. Instead of an edit feature, Twitter should allow users to see how many times a tweet link has been copied, because we all send tweets with a did you see this one message, you know, just to liven things up, smiley face. I agree, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. We'll look at that one. At Alan Lampe author, hey Twitter god, can you please activate spell check? I can't believe there are so many trending misspelled hashtags, especially from writers. At least trend the properly spelled hashtags first. Hashtag writing community, hashtag writing community, spelled wrong, hashtag writing community, once again, spelled wrong. Our algorithms would actually notice if these three hashtags were trending and group them together. So we don't do the spell check and we don't edit your tweet, but we will group them appropriately 
in the right way so that everyone can find your content, even though you may have misspelled it. At Andre3XK, at Twitter, why don't you follow your boss, at Jack? Twitter was following me for a while, and then we decided to do something much, much cooler. We put a bunch of people on billboards and their tweets on billboards all over New York and San Francisco, and we follow them now. And uh, now we can DM them as well. So I don't really mind. Okay, so at Gary White asks, question to photographers, artists, illustrators, and creative types. Have you read the new terms for Twitter? Does this mean Twitter can do what they like with their content? And if you look at the first screenshot, it says you retain your rights to any content you submit, post or display on or throughout the services. What's yours is yours. You own your content and your incorporated audio, photos, and videos are considered part of the content. So what that means is you own it, you can take it down at any point. You want me to read all the terms of service that he links to as well. At Peter Kim Frank, is this article satire? Among other things, it claims that at Jack regularly meditates two hours each day, spends 52 minutes each day doing sauna plus ice bath, eats just five meals per week. Some of it's real. I try to meditate two hours every single day. I definitely do not do a sauna and ice bath every day, and I eat seven meals every week, just dinner. At log May 92, how does one acquire the illustrious check mark on Twitter? There's a guy named Kayvon, and he handles all verification, which is the blue check mark. So if you either DM him or mention him, you have a high probability of getting a blue check mark. So it's at K A Y V Z. Verification. He's the verification god. So just go to him and he'll get you sorted. Okay, I have a question from Adapt to Reality. Question Why is Jack going to Africa? I am going to Africa because uh, it's a pretty incredible collection of entrepreneurs and folks that I think we all need to learn from. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I had a good understanding of what's happening on the continent and how folks are thinking about technology and anything that we can do to help support. At Vampire, spelled V-A-E-M-P-Y-R-E. -E. Does Twitter sell my data immediately? I like a few posts and I immediately get ads about it. No, we don't sell your data. Uh, we try to match whatever we think you might be interested in with a advertiser that is selling or offering a service that matches those interests. At iFlopsStraits, at Twitter, when will there be a dislike button? Uh, we've never actually thought of that, so let's, I'll get that to the team and we'll get on it. At Bald Savant, so apparently we can now follow topics on Twitter, but we can't user generate those topics. Wouldn't it have been a thousand times easier, better, to just let us follow hashtags. Well, so this is um, one step for us. We're trying to determine what the most interesting topics are to start. Uh, and this is all based on our machine learning and deep learning algorithms. We bubble those up so that you can follow them. I recommend following bird watching. It's incredible. The other good one is weather. But there's over a thousand right now. And we'll get better and better, so you should see more and more topics. But eventually, you might be able to follow a hashtag. But what's interesting about this approach is that even if a hashtag is not mentioned, you'll still see a relevant tweet about bird watching. At GH Monberg asks, at Jack, what is your favorite feature on Twitter? Well, right now, it's the ability to follow topics. I think it's incredible. It's awesome. And uh, it works really, really well. I'm finding so many accounts that I end up following and so many tweets that I would not have otherwise seen for sports, for weather, and of course, for bird watching. At Rob Shin asks, at Twitter, can you just give us the ability to use regex on muted tweets? They never work right. So that's a very Unix technical term. That's a regular expression. It's a pattern matching tool for a lot of computer scientists. We thought that might be a little bit out of reach for most people, but it's a good suggestion and our engineers back at the company would love it. So it's probably gonna be done tomorrow. At underscore denial with two A's and two A's. Twitter should have a close friend list too. I, at Twitter, who would you put on your close friend list? Uh, we'll look into that. But you can actually create a list with all your close friends and put them right at the top of your timeline and switch quickly to them at any point. So we kind of already have that. And Nanny Neal, how does one trend on Twitter? I've been trying to figure that out for quite some time. Who do you sell your soul to? Not interested in trending, but I'm looking to get into the soul business. 
You know, I, I think if you spread this tweet around, this one will probably trend. At Dasari Paparella. At Twitter, can we get translation option for any tweet? This already exists. You can translate any tweet that you see. You just tap into it and you hit translate tweet. At the Friar's Wife, how do you think or hope decentralizing Twitter will transform the user experience? Well, the most amazing thing is I have no idea, and that's what makes it so exciting. We believe that um, Twitter is best served by having the largest corpus of conversations, by having different perspectives on how people consume those conversations and interact with those conversations. I think generally it's just going to create a ton more invention for us and innovation for the community using Twitter every single day. At Koja Hiski, at Twitter support, is it possible to claim an abandoned Twitter handle that has zero followers, only one tweet, and has been inactive since 2014? You can reach out to support directly with the account, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you, this has been Twitter support. I'm Jack Dorsey, and I would really love to wish you all the great, uh, I ran out of my characters. Oh, we have 280, I have a great day. Have an amazing day, I hope I was helpful, if not, Mention me on Twitter and I'll see what I can do.